Yep. Yep. November 30th, 2014. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. The sun shall no longer be your light by day, nor for brightness shall the moon give light to you by night. But the Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Your sun shall no more go down, or your moon withdraw itself. For the Lord will be your everlasting light, and your days of mourning shall be ended. Let us pray. O Lord God Almighty, as you have taught us to call the evening, the morning, and the noonday one day, and have made the sun to know it's going down, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that by your brightness, we may know you to be the true God and eternal light, living and reigning forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, give us grace that we may cast away the works of darkness and put upon us the armor of light. Now in the time of this mortal life in which thy son Jesus Christ came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the both the quick and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O gracious light, pure, pure brightness of the ever-living ever Father in heaven, in heaven. O, o Jesus Christ, Christ holy and blessed, blessed. Now, now as we, we come, come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Psalm 121 to be read responsively by whole verse. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence comes my help. My help cometh even from the Lord who has made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved and he that keepeth thee will not sleep. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself is thy keeper. The Lord is thy defense upon thy right hand. So that the sun shall not burn thee by day, neither the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, yea, it is even he that shall keep thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth forevermore. Psalm 134, to be read responsively by half verse. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. 
You that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The The Lord who made made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and and will be forever. forever. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. The vision of Isaiah, son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and listen, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I reared children and brought them up, but they have rebelled against me. The ox knows its owner and the donkey its master's crib, but Israel does not know. My people do not understand. Ah, sinful nation, people laden with iniquity, offspring who do evil, children who deal corruptly, who have forsaken the Lord, who have despised the Holy One of Israel, who are utterly estranged. Why do you seek further beatings? Why do you continue to rebel? The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot even to the head, there is no soundness in it, but bruises and sores and bleeding wounds. They have not been drained or bound up or softened with oil. Your country lies desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. In your very presence, aliens devour your land. It is desolate as overthrown by foreigners. And daughter Zion is left like a booth in a vineyard, like a shelter in a cucumber field, like a besieged city. If the Lord of hosts had not left us a few survivors, we would have been like Sodom and become like Gomorrah. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Oh 
A reading from the second book of Peter. This is now, beloved, the second letter I am writing to you. In them, I am trying to arouse your sincere intention by reminding you that you should remember the words spoken in the past by the holy prophets and the commandment of the Lord and Savior spoken through your apostles. First of all, you must understand this, that in the last days, scoffers will come, scoffing and indulging their own lusts and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For ever since our ancestors died, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. They deliberately ignore this fact that by the word of God, heavens existed long ago and an earth was formed out of water and by means of water, through which the world of that time was deluged with water and perished. But by the same word, the present heavens and earth have been reserved for fire, being kept until the day of judgment and destruction of the godless. But do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like one day. The Lord is not slow about his promise, as some think of slowness, but is patient with you, not wanting any to perish, but all to co come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a loud noise, and the elements will be dissolved with fire, and the earth and everything that is done on it will be disclosed. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. <clears throat> Mine eyes have seen thy salvation which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. A reading from the book of Matthew. Then the kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten bridesmaids took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. When the foolish took their lamp, they took no oil with them, but the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, all of them became drowsy and slept. But at midnight there was a shout, look, here is the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those bridesmaids got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, give us some of your oil for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, no, there will not be enough for you and for us. You had better go to the dealers and buy some for yourselves. And while they went to buy it, the bridegroom came and those who were ready went with him into the wedding banquet and the door was shut. Later, the other bridesmaids came also saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, truly, I tell you, I do not know you. Keep awake, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. A 
Let us affirm our faith by reciting together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, God, the Father Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe believe in Jesus Christ, Christ, his Holy Son, Son, our Lord. He was was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit Spirit and born born of the Virgin Mary. Mary. He He suffered suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate, was crucified, died, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He He ascended into heaven and and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And also also with with you. you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed Hallowed be be thy thy name. name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, thy thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by thy Holy Spirit in the communion of Andrew and all your saints, entrusting one another and our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, Almighty God, who gave such grace to your Apostle Andrew that he readily obeyed the call of your Son, Jesus Christ, and brought his brother with him, give unto us who are called by your word grace to follow him without delay and to bring those near to us into his gracious presence who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the Lord world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fears of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. 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 O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessings of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through whom, him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way, kindle our hearts, and awaken hope that we may know you as you are revealed in Scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. Sleepers wake up, voices. 
You made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which inflict our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal God, in whose perfect kingdom no sword is drawn but the sword of righteousness, no strength known but the strength of love, so mightily spread abroad your spirit that all peoples may be gathered under the banner of the Prince of Peace as children of one Father, to whom be dominion and glory now and forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our praise, prayers for this gathered family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life, and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we prepare for the coming of the Christ child, who commanded us to love God and our neighbors, let us remind those neighbors now in our prayers and in the days ahead in our actions. O oh God, you have bound us together in a common life. 
Help us in the midst of our struggles for justice and truth to confront one another with hatred or bitterness, without hatred or bitterness, and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, our Father, you see your children growing up in an unsteady and confusing world. Show them that your ways give more life than the ways of the world, and that following you is better than chasing after selfish goals. Help them to take failure, not as a measure of their wealth, but as a chance for a new start. Give them strength to hold their faith in you and to keep alive their joy in your creation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, whose son had nowhere to lay his head, grant that those who live alone may not be lonely in their solitude, but that following in his steps, they may find fulfillment in loving you and their neighbors. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty and most merciful God, we remember before you all poor and neglected persons whom it would be easy for us to forget, the homeless and the destitute, the old and the sick, and all who have none to care for them. Help us to heal those who are broken in body or spirit and to turn their sorrow into joy. Grant this, Father, for the love of your Son, who for our sake became poor, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O God of peace, who has taught us that in returning and rest we shall be saved, in quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your Spirit lift us, we pray you, to your presence where we may be still and know that you are God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let, this, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, and to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive, it is, part, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, Father, Father of all, all mercies, mercies, we, your, your unworthy, unworthy servants, servants, give you, you humble, humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, give us grace at this time with one accord to make our own common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.